Crystal. Hello, it's Thursday. I'm literally about to pop out to go to post office to pick up my sorry, I'm out of breath. I literally just <laughs> ran out of stairs because I was like almost left and didn't film the clip. So yeah, I'm basically about to pop out, go to post office to pick up my Olive Young delivery. They tried to do it yesterday, but obviously I was in the office, so I couldn't accept it. So I'm gonna have now a nice walk to get my steps in, and then when I'm back, I'm gonna do a haul. What what I ordered. So yeah, let's go. Here we are. There's my Olive Young um, parcel. So this time I haven't bought anything skincare related. I got two, let's just start with that, I got two freebies, which I believe is like, oh yeah, it says Intensive Brightening Sleeping Pack by Jejun, I guess, that's the brand, I don't know, so I got this as a freebie, am I gonna try it, but you know my skin is very sensitive, so I don't know how I will react, but then I bought just like, healthy stuff so first thing I got this uh, tea mixture it's traditional uh, Korean tea it's like in sachets uh, you just add hot water and stir it and enjoy it I had it when I was in Korea and I really enjoyed it so this would be really nice for the afternoon and then because I am on my health kick so I really want to kind of support my digestion as much as possible so I stock up on my favorite kombucha so this time I've got the pineapple flavor and it's again from a tea zen and then I got which one is this one? I think it's mango and papaya. I love my kombuchas. They are really tasty. They're really they're essentially prebiotics. So it's good for your stomach. It should help with your gut health. So in each is 36. So I have two months of worth. And then I got myself probiotics. So this is essentially Olive Young Awards Lactofit Special Set. This is one of the, I guess, most popular prebiotics in Korea. This is pack of 60 and I got it actually quite, uh, quite, I actually got it twice. So 120 days supply, 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 I don't know really how to pronounce it properly. It is what it is. Supply, I would say. And again, it is, if I can open it, it comes in like pre-packaged like this, I believe there's a 10 sticks in one of those, and just to show you, it is this tiny, you can see tiny little sachet that you just like pop in. You don't need any water or anything. I think it's flavored as a Yakult. Yakult, the uh, yogurt drink. And again, it should really help with your gut health. Again, I tried these when I was in Korea. I really enjoy them. So I got those. And that is basically it. That is my... That is my haul from Olive Young. Buenos dias. Good morning. Um, hmm. I feel very tired, very tired, but it's fine. It is currently 8.54. I'm actually up since eight, but I've just been on the phone for last hour doing fuck all. Just watching TikToks, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna change now. We're going to gym. Then I will pop to shop to get bits for kimchi. I need to get extra glasses. Obviously, napa cabbage, spring onion, 
onion, carrot, and ginger, garlic. So I need to buy those, and then. And then yeah, then we gonna make kimchi because I have probably this left in my glass. So yeah, today we making kimchi. Okay, so it's a bit later. I have problem with lighting. This is the best I can do, so it is what it is. But yeah, let's finally make kimchi. So I'm gonna link down below the recipe I'm using as a guidance. I roughly have the similar measures, but I usually kind of freestyle it when it comes uh, to seasoning because I like it certain way and um, that's just what it is so let me just show you what you need so obviously you need your napa cabbage I have three more then you need carrots you need spring onion garlic ginger onion uh, so that's like the veggies. Obviously you can add radish as well, but last time I added the radish, it was really bitter and I didn't really enjoy it. So I'm just doing it now without radish. I think it's absolutely fine, but hey ho, then you will need glutinous, glutinous, glutinous rice flour for the rice porridge you need for the sauce. Um, you need Gochugaru, which is basically red pepper flakes. I don't think I have the gochugaru, I think this one is. What is this one? Husaku red pepper powder, potato, potato. I think this one is more spicier. Uh, you will need fish sauce. Uh, if you have the fermented shrimps, you can use those because that's what you originally put in uh, kimchi, but I can't get it. Well, I can get it, but I was lazy to go to Asian store. So I'm using fish sauce. It works well for me. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of rice vinegar, some MSG, because with MSG everything is much nicer. And then obviously you will need salt for soaking your cabbages. Uh, that's essentially the first step we're going to do. I'm really sorry about the lighting, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna first remove the first two leaves from my Napa cabbage. Because those ones are usually beaten up. I think I have about like four kilos of it. Feels like it to be fair. They are quite heavy. They are not as big in a size. But they are quite heavy. So let's go into the bin. It's gonna chop the Napa cabbage in quarters and then basically slice it to like slices like this and literally all you're gonna do just put it in a I'm using a big saucepan and you're just gonna put it in take your salt and really cover it in the salt and you just repeat the process Okay, so next we're gonna do the rice porridge. So the cabbage is now in a cold water with salt. We're gonna leave it for like an hour. I think so, yeah, probably like an hour. And now we're gonna make the rice porridge. So you will need the glutinous flour. 
water and then I forgot to mention you need sugar or this is kind of like a sweet cooking syrup uh, from Korea Korean one so I'm gonna use that so you need two cups of water so that's one that's two now the flour so as you can see one your syrup it's about like two tablespoon I'm gonna do it so it's got like one okay I think that will do and also I finished it now we're gonna mix it so it looks like this just like a milky starchy water Right, as you can see, it's now thick, it's like a porridge consistent, so just gonna leave it to cool it down because you need to have it cool before you add the seasoning. Oh my god, the lighting is horrendous. Now it looks like it's gonna be raining. It was so sunny, you saw that a little long ago. But yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do the carrots, so you're gonna chop them uh to look like matchsticks or julienne as the French says, right? And then also your spring onions. So yeah, just a summary. The cabbage is cabbaging in the salt water. We made our rice porridge, which is now getting uh, cool, which is getting cool, which is cooling down. <laughs> we're gonna prep the veggies. And then last one, we're gonna do the seasoning mixture which i'm gonna show you as well can we just start over can we just rewind take me to the place where i was surrounded by a light can we just start over can we just re so as you can see the veg is prepped and also i did the garlic ginger and onions this is like two small onions uh one and a half head of garlic and like three pieces of ginger so I'm gonna blend this to have it ready for the seasoning oh my god that light I'm gonna lose it um I'm basically now just gonna tidy up rinse the cabbage in a cold water and then we're gonna essentially assemble I'm gonna show you how to do the seasoning paste and then we have kimchi ready. Okay, so let's make the seasoning. So this is the cold porridge. I'm gonna add the mixture of onion, garlic, and ginger. I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna add a bit of rice vinegar. Um, like two tablespoons. I'm gonna do a cup of fish sauce, so I'm just running low here. So I'm gonna finish the last bit. So yeah, I have a whole cup of fish sauce. I'm gonna add some MSG. Don't have to, but I like the umami flavor. So Like two tablespoons and we're gonna do one cup for now I will add another one because I have quite lots of cabbage and lots of veg so two cups of chili flakes and this is the seasoning paste for our kimchi. Now I'm gonna add the carrots and spring onions and then I'm gonna split the mixture into two and add it to a cabbage. So this is the final mixture with the carrots and spring onions ready for the cabbage. Right, let's do it. So I fill it goes here. Half goes here. God, it's so fucking heavy. I gloved up 
and I'm just gonna now mix it all in. So let me show you the final product. This is my kimchi. It looks really good. It also tastes good. So yeah, I have these two massive pots. And now is the final thing, which I'm gonna put them into uh, jars. Then I have these two plastic containers. Hopefully that will be enough. Fingers crossed. I still have somewhere two more glasses or two more jars. So I guess we should be fine. But yeah, now I'm just gonna stuff this in the jar. And here's the final product. So I have two two litre sap and then I managed to do three full jars as well. So that should hopefully last for a while. So yeah, I'm done. I'm tired. I just need to do lots of uh, cleaning up and tidying up, which I'm not excited. But hey ho, it is what it is. Uh, I hope you enjoy me watching making kimchi. Apologies for the lighting again, but weather is weather and can't do anything about it but yeah let me know if you ever tried to make kimchi or if you're trying this recipe and i will see you in the next one bye Lift me over hills and under.